hey guys welcome to my channel how are you guys doing hope you guys are fine thank you so much for stopping by if today is the first time you are coming across this amazing baby girl face you are hello welcome i'm glow brandy a nigeria youtuber based in italy and on this channel there is never a dull moment with me we have varieties of cookies on this channel please consider to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload any of our videos and right quickly guys i really don't want this video to be super long so we're going to dive in into this video right away i'm going to try my possible way i feel i'm kind of a bit too fast when i'm talking i'm trying to be try to be a little bit lengthy as much as i can because i'm a fast talker anyways that guys concerning this particular incident i believe that i feel that right now a lot of us as parents have to be very 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 deliberate in parenting right now because we have to pay more attention for our children for our kids because there are a lot of mad people out there there are a lot of sick people out there that they are putting on clothes they are looking cute whereas they are mad they are not fine like fam this is a popular particular um Yoruba Ato in Nigeria that molested a child. Like, this is crazy. This is really, really, as in, it is annoying. This, this, this is, this is people that a lot of people are looking up to as their role model. This is a person, a, a, a somebody's father. Baba Ijebu or uh, Baba um, Ijesha, whatever he called himself, a man of that is he a caliber? Is he a caliber? Is he a man of what? Is he a man of nobody right now? For him to molest a child, like it is really, really, really heartbreaking. When I saw um the mother of the child the uh princess she's a comedian she's she's the one taking of taking care of that child. it's like she's a mother apparently though she's not a really biological mother but she's you know she's the one taking care of the child that was being molested by this nonestic <laughs> is it nonestic I don't know farm i am hungry anyway guys see according to like according to what i heard i listened to princess i i i i, I saw her videos on her instagram page and when she was crying and lamenting and all that yeah it is really hard broken but the reason why i'm doing this video i'm going i'm trying to create an awareness to a lot of us parents especially we that are living here in their abroad that we a lot of us don't really have a um, support system over here in the sense that taking care of our children whereby we will go to work and all that so the reason why i'm bringing this out is that to create an awareness that you have to be very very careful where you take your children to who come to your house because we have a lot of sick people like we have a lot of mad people okay this is a, a mental disorder as in a, a pedo, pedophilia pedophilia it's called pedophilia and pedophilia at at it is defined because a lot of people don't really know about this sickness pedophilia is a psychiatric disorder whereby a person is having sexual attraction to children and it is mostly from the age of i think 13 years downward so you can see a full-blown grown man being attracted to to a child of a four five six seven eight like it is sick sickness like it is a big sickness in the society that 
especially in the Africa community, a lot of people don't really know about it that this really exists. So we have to be very, very careful. A lot of people know that their family member is kind of suffering from this disorder but they try to like shy away from it like try to like cover it up and not knowing that this is going to affect uh, a lot of people at the long run so as parents i feel we need to be deliberate can you just imagine the emotional trauma that this child is going through right now the only way that the mother was able to like find out that this child would molest she said that for long like about seven years back the line that the child was no longer the way she was before she was acting funny and she never knew what is it like what is happening to her you understand so the only thing maybe is like spiritual and all that blah 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 until when the child saw her and the person doing a moving together that was two years ago when she was watching it and she became so much uncomfortable and she was like reacting somehow so they now have to like um uh, make her like because she has been like this child is not she's not longer the way she used to be so a friend of hers they actually learned, like like interrogates the child and before she finally was able to confide in them that see this see 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 what this man did and the then she now deliberately decide to invite the old man to the house and before then she have to put a, a cctv camera in the house do you understand and then um, when the man came they left she left for them for them to have a proof you understand you know Nigeria, if there's no proof hey, nothing can be done you understand so uh it's, it's it's when i heard that part that that child that was being molested before that they have to see like mm, try to have a proof again i get the point but oof, it is really really it is it's it's, it's painful that she have to like pass through that trauma again and could you imagine that the bumble clock when he came she like he just this guy that says hey, she have to go and pick up something urgent day blah 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 and she even left her phone and left the the child was with him in the house and the the man started his move not knowing that there are camera on around and when she when the later when the man now tried to when he take the girl to the kitchen side knowing fully where that because she was controlling them on the on her phone knowing fully where that there is no camera uh, in the kitchen she have to run that and she caught him in the act so right now the he goat have been arrested so the the uh we really need to be very 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 careful as parents right now because a lot is happening i believe this is time that we have to empower our children with the knowledge of um knowing the sensitive parts of their body the letting them know the um uh, what is an abuse or not you understand i believe we need to empower our children right now to speak up that no matter what happened no matter the situation that they must confide in in you as a parent or as a mother okay that we must be very very uh, ready to give them listening ear give them that confidence that boldness to be able to tell you any anything at all and you are not going to judge them you understand create that atmosphere within your between you and your children so that they can be so reliable to trust you and say whatever they want to say to you i i am trying my possible best to make sure that my child that we have that connection that friendship it should be very very free to tell me anything like i literally we can argue about anything me and my son yes because i've i've created that level that ground for him to be so comfortable that so that we can say anything like he can say anything to me 
there is a time when, especially when you are playing with a child, you understand? It makes them relax to, to be able to confide in you in so many, many uh, things. And we shouldn't shy away from um, um, discussing or having that conversation, that important conversation with them. Do you get what I mean? Because this is going to boost more of their confidence. And when a child is unable to speak up, when a child is not empowered to speak up, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is going to uh, cause more damages to that child. Because I believe that a child of uh, five years can when he or she is hungry can say I want food or seven years or there are bad so it's time we start inculcating that that boldness in our in the life of our children so that they can be able to speak up Me, fam we have a lot of mad people like mad not only from the men side but both from the women so you need to be very very careful the people that come around your children and it is time we need to know how to define you know we generally africa everybody's uncle and everybody's auntie do you understand so we need to like explain what type of uncle uncle is that person <laughs> do you understand what well, what kind of uncle uncle is that person because everybody is not uncle everybody's not auntie we need to define it to them we need to you know make things clear for them as in the world is wicked we have wicked people and we have sick people up here they are set of mad people that are in trousers and ooh, guys since i heard this i'm trying to like like process it it's not really digesting because i'm kind of putting myself in the place of the mother of that child like Hey, <laughs> this is heartbroken. So, fam, we need to be careful. We need to empower our children. We need to be deliberate in training our children nowadays. We need to, as in, we need to shine our eyes. Yes, we have a lot of people that we have different personality. You understand? There are some people that are calm. There are some people that like peace. And I've heard of a story whereby. Uh, a very close family uh, is, is a, really, a relative was molesting a child and uh, because of that cordial relationship they feed the mother or the parent feed they have with that person so they they were trying to like you know you know to like cajole the whole thing but <laughs> I don't care who like friendship Anything can scatter. I don't give an F. That's me. When it comes to to child, like to my child, and to any child I know that is uh, around me, especially when a child is placed under my care. I don't I don't joke with it. So guys, this is what I have to say on this video that we need to be deliberate in 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 training our children nowadays and and give them so much awareness let them be able to speak up empower them to be able to speak up to say anything to you any day any time it is very very important because we have a lot of mad people on the streets anyway guys i hope this video is a bit helpful i know the video i was just rambling here and there but nevertheless we're able to pick one or two points right and guys don't forget to share with your friends and love and, and see you guys on my next one i love you all bye ciao tutti bye bye bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got 